Hi there mga ka Talks. Today is an earthy day. For the very first time, we're gonna try out soil painting. I've always been fascinated by this kind of art medium. Who would have thought that we could actually create beautiful masterpieces by just using soil? Thanks to Sir Wawai Sawai, the father of soil painting from the Talaandig Indigenous Cultural Community, who first discovered this truly amazing art medium. I'm truly honored to have been invited by one of the finest soil painters from the Talaandig community, Marcelino Nicosia, who is known for the binukid name Balugto, which means rainbow. He's my friend and I call him Sir Balugs. He is a member of the Talaandig community, like I do, because my mother is also a full-blooded Talaandig by ethnicity. And so I'm also very grateful to the rest of my ever-welcoming Talaandig friends, whom I call my Solid, for their very heart-melting accommodation when I stayed there for three days in their place. Shout out to Apo Ipa, Sir Puloy, Mamumulaay, Jonathan, uh, Daryl, James, and Diane, among many others. They're like brothers and sisters to me, and I can't wait to get back to their place for more art jam using soil. So, we stayed at the beautiful house of Sir Balogs inside the Talaandig Cultural Center in Songko, Lantapan. The place where soil painting first began to emerge in the Philippines and probably in the whole world. Sir Balogs, uh, his house is full of fantastic soil paintings. And I really encourage you guys to visit his place. You won't regret it. It's truly incredible. You'd really see the culture, identity, and the beliefs of the Talaandig people as reflected in their artworks. So, here, Sir Balogs and Daryl were preparing a canvas for us to paint on. In preparing soil paints, you just need to follow very simple steps. Like, you just have to add water and glue into the soil of your choice. It must be steered very well until it becomes smooth and fine, until the large particles turn smoother and much finer. The water will turn the soil into a syrupy liquid and then the glue will make it stick to the surface of the canvas. Once all your desired colors are ready, then you're good to go. You can start painting on a primed canvas. I enjoyed painting with soil for the very first time and um, this is my soil painting masterpiece that doesn't have a title yet. My sister, Indai, also enjoyed her black silhouette of flower over a light brown background. I won't forget the soil painting workshop experience. Thanks to Sir Balogs and the rest of my Talaandig friends, um, Sir Balogs is currently working on different art forms. His award-winning paintings and his music have always been life-changing. And I'm so glad and grateful because he gave me soil of different colors before I left. And since I got so mesmerized by the wonders we can create using soil, I created another soil painting right away when I got home. I decided to paint a deep forest for the second time around. Here you can see that we started off by painting trees from afar using light colors. And as the trees get closer to the viewers of the painting, they get darker. We're not yet done because I wanted to add something more on our painting. I went back to the river where we took the stone that we painted on in our previous video. I looked for some pieces of twigs of trees by the river and I painted them with black and I added them on the painting. As an artist, I love overlaying colors. But in soil painting, I've noticed that if you want to overlay different colors, you should go for the lighter colors first and then into the darker ones. Because uh, based on my experience, I find it hard to put lighter colors over the dark ones. I think it's maybe because I'm still just a beginner and I'm still... Um, I still have to explore a lot more about this medium. 
Thank you so much, mga car talks. If you find this video interesting, you may follow us on Facebook and please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more art talks with Jerwin.